evening welcome back to one jody and his border terrier adventures out again up in the woods of hexhamshire as we're straight down the bottom there it's not too far it's a lovely friday night the 5th of may um quite warm actually it must be about 15 16 degrees um, so I've got a few changes to my kit which I'll show you when we get to camp um, I've also found a nice little spot a little bit further deeper into the woods a little bit more quiet and secluded after last time because um, I was quite a few people walk past the camp or near by the camp anyway so I had to be a bit stealthy uh, which was different but uh, yeah we're going to go a little bit higher and a little bit deeper in the woods tonight as you can see as I say it's a beautiful night um, not many midges about I've had a few showers today but I'm glad to say they've passed and as you can probably see just nice, nice blue cloudy sky I'm out with Mister there. He's having a good run around. He loves it up here, as you can imagine. Bought a terry in the woods. No happier place. Well, he does love the beach, but uh, I think he prefers the woods. So yeah, I'm not going to rabble on. I can't do that. So we're just going to head off into the woods, pitch up, and then I'll show you me me kit and what what i've changed and now it's getting a bit warmer so we'll see you in a bit right roll that in roll Right, so just behind us, that's where we did with self camp. As you can see, this is like the main path through the woods. So we weren't that far away from where people come and go. Up. So as I say, we're just gonna go a bit higher out the way. Not that there's anyone around, I haven't seen anyone yet. It's quarter to eight on a Friday night um, so anyway it's a while since I've done a shout out to my fellow YouTubers um, so tonight I'm going to give a shout out to a gentleman called Graham Basnet um, have a look at his channel he does some great camps up in Northumberland um, where I like to get and he researches a lot about the history of places and there's some fascinating stuff he tells you so if you haven't already checked his channel out, go and have a look. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And you know, drop me, drop me a couple of thumbs up, subscribe. That's what it's all about, helping the fellow YouTuber progress of his channel. And yep. So let's see it. As, as you can see, look, yeah, there's just tracks everywhere. All different directions. I've uh, spotted a couple of nice spots up there. But we're not going there, we're going to go up there. Up, see where the, the light is at the top. So that's a bit of woodland that's been felled. And then when you get the top, there's another couple of acres of woodland. That's where we're heading. You'll see no doubt in a minute when we get there. So we'll bring you back in a minute right so we're nearly at a spot now this is the woods that are like up on the top have seen this though and hills i don't know if the camera will pick them up can you see the hands 
Wouldn't be coming near them and stuff. Right. Off you go. And then just through them trees there's a, a little sort of flat clearing, a bit of flat ground. I'm going to pitch the tent. So we've been walking about 20 minutes from home. Very carbon friendly, haven't even used the car to get here. And not a single soul about. Right. I'm not quite sure what time it'll get dark at night. I think it's about 9 o'clock, isn't it? This time of year. I haven't really been paying much attention, but. Must have a good hour left of daylight. Ten to eight. Five to eight type of thing. Right. Bring you back in a minute. Right, I've had a little look about. And this is the spot I've chose. It's relatively flat. There's a few little bits of branches sticking out the trees where you can hang stuff. And it's uh, nice and secured. Out the way. So yep, had a little look. And this is probably one of the flattest bits. It's got a bit of shelter to it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get the camp set up. I am thinking about getting a um, tarp and a bivy. I think it's a DD Alex. DD tarps, they seem to be the, the go to tarps, but obviously you pay the price. So if anyone's got a good top and bivy, sorry not a top and bivy, a top in the hammock um, that they can recommend, drop it in the comments and I'll have a look. But I'm just in the Cloud Peak 2 tonight, as always. But I have swapped a few bits of my kit, which I'll show you soon. So, right, we'll get set up. Okay, tense up, look. So this is my first bit of kit that I've swapped for tonight. And um, the last few months I've been using my Cetus X light, which is like a, a thermal mat, but it's bigger and bulkier than this. This is a firmer S New Air X light, so it packs down really small and still got a good L value. I'm gonna try that out at night. I have tried it out before and I was lovely and warm on it. And um, it's not as big and as comfy probably as the see the summit and you know, a lot of people complain about the, the crunchiness if you like seeing it's like sleeping on a crisp packet we're going to try that out i have uh, as i say I slept on it before and it was uh nice but uh now i've had the seat summit i'm going to compare to that and the second piece of kit i've got is my titanium flask i've got a little fire dragon stove so I'm going to make myself a coffee on that later instead of using the drip oil and see how that fares. Um, obviously doing a woodland camp, you've got any amount of free fuel. Is it? Um, so I thought maybe use that and use the jet oil up on the mountains. But we'll see. I do like my jet oil. Um, food wise, I've had my tea. I'm not really hungry. I brought that just in case I get hungry later on. But at the minute, I don't fancy it. Um, I've got a couple of beers and I've got me a flask of whiskey and some coffee. So I'm going to get this blown up. Um, the Firmarast mats come with a pump sack, which is really handy because it's easier to pump it up and plus the fact it's probably a lot of you know blowing up the mat with your mouth. You're putting moisture in the sleeping mat, which obviously then turns into mildew and mold. And you know, the, the lifetime of the mat might not long, last as long. So always use a pump sack if you can. So we're gonna get that blown up. Um, I have got my Alkit Sky High 900 seating bag again, my four season bag. So should be toasty at night. Um, I've got my Rab down jacket as well, just in case I need it. Because the temperature might drop a bit when that sun goes down. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on, make camp and uh, Get ready for the sun going down.
It is that look, eh? We'll see what that's like. Um, me and my nephew are hoping to do the Cumbrian Way, possibly at the end of June. So I'm starting to work out what kit to take. Um, that's why I'm trying out that mat tonight. Gonna to take that, no doubt, because it's packed small, light. And if it does get a little bit cold, it's got a good R value. I'll probably take that with me, the Fire 900 bag, because I've packed down really well, um, as opposed to the old kit, but it's a bit bigger, but I'll be red hot in that, I no doubt. Um, I'll be taking my Cloud Peak 2, and I think I will get everything I need in my Rook 65. And we've got my cook system, that's me little uh, cook system for a night. Just, I think it's what like the army use, you know. I'll show you how it works later on if I use it. Um, but I've no doubt we take my jet boil in the Cumbrian way because it's, I don't think it's much more than more hills and fields. So yeah, I'm just going to start trying different bits of kit. But I'm pretty sure I know I'll be taking that mat and which bag I'll be taking. But yeah, so this is what camp for tonight. Now, I'm sure you can probably hear the sheep. And you're thinking, what the hell is that little sheep doing in the woods? But that's, that's the edge there. Just a, a field, if you like, where the farmer's got his sheep grazing. He's just lying on the floor there, can you see him? He's got camouflage, Jim. Yeah, that's it. Really peaceful, apart from the odd sheep there and a bit of bird song. But yeah, lovely little spot. I'm just gonna sit. I think I'm gonna have a beer now. So my beers let me sort of go to wild camping beers now. Um I'm a right cheap skate. I like Aldi Galahad. But when I'm out, this is me little treat. The kinks there. And also, oh, a phase 8.5, so, and that is 8. So, to be honest, if you have them too, that'll see me for a night. Right, get sorted, bring you back soon. Put my little fire on, drinking my beer. Oh yeah. There's a few midges out, so hopefully that might help keep them at bay. So yeah, all I've done is just start off with a little gel cube. I put a little bit of wood on. It's getting dark now. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy. And uh, if there's nothing to film, we'll see you in the morning. Six. What a beautiful morning. Slept well. It was very warm last night. 
Um, yep, the firm I asked did is proud. It is a bit smaller than the city summit, obviously. Um, so there's not that much room to maneuver, but nice and warm and comfy. Yeah, good night. So that's my fifth camp this year. Fifth month, fifth camp. So I'm still on carpet, still on target for me camping every month. Probably in the summer I might get a couple of extra ones in. Or even the winters, I do really enjoy the winter ones now I've done them. But uh, it is nice being a bit warmer. <laughs> right, get some breakfast and a coffee on I think. Okay, so I've just tried that out. So one of them fire dragon. Solid fuel tablets. Boils. Put a cup of water on there. And it boils that water. And it's still got a little bit left. So one of them will easily make you a cup of coffee. So that's quite a success. So yeah, so we're just going to sit and drink this. Mm, lovely. Nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning. And then we'll just set that burn out. Still not really hungry. I'm not going to have any breakfast this morning. I've got a porridge. Um, but don't feel like it at the minute. So we'll see. But yeah, just going to sit and enjoy the coffee. Okay, that's where packed up, as you can see, leave no trace, there was a, um, a bit of rubbish just over the couple of trees there when I went and looked at it, it was an old, one of them helium balloon things, so, don't know how long that's been here but I've uh, I'll pick it up and put my bag anyway. But you can see in the litter. Beautiful. Lovely quiet spring morning. So yep. Thanks for watching. Been another successful camp. Um what have I learned from this camp? Well I've learned that the fire dragon capsules will boil a cup of water, so that's good. Um, my firmer rest was really warm last night. Like it was only probably down to about 3 degrees, 4 degrees last night. Um, but yeah, you could feel the heat reflecting into my back end of my body. My sleeping bag worked well, which you would hope if it's a four season outfit, it should be able to keep you warm in the spring. So that did, I was, it was one of the first nights I've actually been com comfortable warm really nice um so yeah the firm rest not as comfy as the seat as summit but they're two completely different mats completely thicknesses completely different weights but uh, i think i've been spoiled with my seat as summit it does take a lot more bag room up and it is heavier but it is very comfortable but no the firm rest did good so anyway that's what we're doing thanks for watching Please drop a comment, what you think, what you think I do well, what you think I don't do well. Any hints and tips, any bits of kit you think would make us a, make a better camp. I think I've got everything I need now, to be honest. I just need to start working out my actual multi-day hike kit, like I did for the Great Glen a few years back. But anyway, I'm rambling again. So, as I do. So yeah, leave no trace and we'll see you on the next one.